Um, leave the elbow down. Yeah, pretty much leave the, you know, you know, the only time you ever want to bring your elbow up is if you're doing these parries, and that's the only time if you're already here and you're pushing out, you're here, you're pushing out, or you're here, you're pushing out. That's the only time you ever want to do that, unless you're doing floor, that's different. But, um, yeah, that's the only time you ever want to bring your elbow up, or if you're doing it fighting. Okay. Um, so yeah, just keep, keep the elbow in and down. Um, and your attacks are good, just wait till I'm closer, wait till I'm less prepared. And don't be afraid to just like faint and lunge or something, or just like do like an advanced lunge. Um, another one of those problems that you have, and you, you've, you've improved it a lot, so it's very hard to do so. But what I normally tell a lot of beginners is to just attack, 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 attack. And at some point, I'll be able to parry the attack and go for the repose. You've gotten very, very good at making sure I cannot parry it and go for the repose. So you tend to do very well with that because a lot of it's very hard to actually parry it properly and go. That's what I would do is I would parry, 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 and I'd parry going to the post and you'd slip right around and stab me before I hit you. And that's why I was like, I need to stop falling for that. <laughs> because I'd be right here and you'd just slip and boom, and you got me like three times with that. I was like, it's not gonna work. But um, so what I basically had to do is I had to wait until you were all the way done. <laughs> and do something. Like I couldn't I couldn't just like try to launch an attack in the middle of that because which is which is very rare, but that's not bad. Um, you can keep attacking the off the top. You can do that, and a lot of times what will happen. The problem is a lot of times what will happen is people will get more and more desperate, and right before they step off, they'll do some move again. You. It's very hard to get people to actually get pushed off. What you need to do if you're trying to push people off is you get them back to the very end, you stop, you wait for them to do something, and then you either stop them or lunge. Okay. You wait, you is stop them there. You, yeah, you stop them there, then they think, okay, now it's my turn. And as soon as they start to do their turn, then you hit them again. And almost every single time you get the point, because people are afraid to go off the strip. When I was pushing you back, then I would stop, and then just kind of stop. You would stop, but most of the time you stop when you were done, because if you lunged again, I would have been out of reach. And most of the times I retreated fast enough where I could get out of range, you stopped when you would have had to lunge from there to hit me. And I was like, okay, that's a practice. So that's when you usually stop. If, you, if there was an actual strip there, um, things may have been different. But uh, yeah, I, I don't actually know. But, but just try to vary it up. Because that's like the only thing that you do. Right. And it's actually pretty good, but it's the only thing that you do. Which makes, if you're not doing that, it's really easy to just wait for you to try to do it. And then you, or just hit you. Because you'll do this. But besides, I mean, Ooh, pretty good, pretty good. It's, it's very. I, I have to really, I have to really trick you to hit you, and I have to go fast to hit you too. You, you, you've got a really good, uh, really good fast disengage, outside inside disengage with, left, with, with the uh, left being left handed, which <laughs> sucks. Cause I hate that about left. Because as a righty, I always want to grab this way. It's like grab this way, or right handed right. That's, that's the real reason, because with the righty, this is so comfy, and the lefty 